So what is information security architecture? An architecture must provide all the links in the chain and ensure that security is provided through a fully integrated systems approach. A security architecture must ensure that services are properly managed, delivered and supported. The security architecture must be created for your needs. The architecture you end up creating must consider business needs as well as regulatory requirements. It must be holistic and complete. I'm going to talk a little bit about security architecture principle. They form the basis for our security architecture design. The same principles apply to cloud infrastructure as to infrastructure in your own data center. To make our design complete, we make sure that we provide security all the way throughout the life cycle of the software. We make sure that within any system, the level of security is equal throughout. Later in this course, we will talk about the principle called layer defenses. As in medieval times, when you have a castle with multiple walls, we layer our defenses that will protect our assets in the cloud. Privilege separation is a technique in which a program is divided into parts. The different parts are limited to the specific privileges they require in order to perform a specific task. This is used to mitigate the potential damage of a computer security vulnerability. The least privileged security design principle states that each user should be able to access the system with least privilege. Only those privileges should be assigned to the users which are essential to perform the desired task. A system that has critical data, processes or resources must be isolated such that it restricts public access. The system can be isolated in two ways, both physical or logical. The physical isolation is one where the system with critical information is isolated from the system with public access information. In a logical isolation, the security services layers are established between the public system and the critical systems. Zero trust is based on the realization that traditional security models operate on the assumption that everything inside an organization's network should be trusted. Under this broken trust model, it's assumed that the user's identity is not compromised and that all users act responsibly and can be trusted. Zero trust can be achieved by leveraging network segmentation for preventing lateral movement, providing application threat prevention and applying granular user access control. Security by design is increasingly becoming the mainstream development approach to ensure security and privacy of software systems. In this approach, security is built into the system from the ground up and starts with a robust architecture design. I will talk a bit about cloud computing in general and about its characteristics. The different delivery and deployment models of cloud will be discussed and sharing of responsibility for security between the cloud provider and the cloud consumer. Cloud computing is being adapted worldwide by all types of organizations. It gives a number of benefits to the cloud customers, but will also change the way IT is administered and operated. For information security, cloud computing provides new opportunities, but will also pose some challenges. Cloud technology enables companies to scale their computing solution as they grow. The days of forecasting how many servers to buy is long in the past. Instead, companies can simply alter their usage with the cloud provider, like Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure. The cloud provider allocates more space and charges more money. Not only does the cloud allow companies to create more valuable apps for customers, it enables better customer support. Customers want answers and the ability to purchase products all the times of the day. The cloud makes this possible. Cloud computing requires in-depth knowledge about technologies and platforms. You should prepare to learn about the technology platform of at least one of the major cloud providers. You will also benefit from knowing about automation of operations and how to utilize different cloud services and cloud security offerings. So what are the main characteristics of cloud computing? On-demand self-service. A consumer can provision computing capabilities such as server time and network storage as needed automatically without requiring human interaction with each service provider. Broad network access. Capabilities are available over the network and accessed through standard mechanisms that promote the use of thin or thick client platforms. 
such as mobile phones, tablets, laptops, and workstations. Resource pooling. The provider's computing resources are pooled to serve multiple consumers using a multi-tenant model, with different physical and virtual resources dynamically assigned and reassigned according to consumer demand. Rapid elasticity. Capability can be elastically provisioned and released, in some cases automatically, to scale rapidly outward and inward on demand. Measured service. Cloud systems automatically control and optimize resource use by leveraging a metering capability appropriate to the type of service. For example, storage, processing, bandwidth, and CPU usage. Resource usage can be monitored, controlled, and reported, providing transparency for both the provider and the consumer. An important concept for cloud services is the cloud service delivery models. These models are infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Infrastructure as a service involves the hosting of physical or virtual machines in a data center environment. Service providers supply resources on demand as required by the client. This means that an organization only pays for the resources that they utilize. Platform as a service is where cloud providers deliver a computing platform. Generally, this involves hosting of an operating system or web server. Software as a service is a model in which users are giving access to application, software and databases. The cloud provider manages the infrastructure and platforms that operate the applications. Software is installed and updated in the cloud and can be accessed at any time by users. This eliminates the need for businesses to install and manage software themselves. We have four different cloud deployment models. Public cloud is a deployment model that supports all users who want to make use of a computing resource, such as hardware or software, on a subscription basis. Private cloud is typically infrastructure used by a single organization. Such infrastructure may be managed by the organization itself to support various user groups, or it could be managed by a service provider that takes care of either on-site or off-site. In a hybrid cloud, an organization makes use of interconnected private and public cloud infrastructure. Many organizations make use of this model when they need to scale up their IT infrastructure rapidly, such as when leveraging public clouds to supplement the capacity available within the private cloud. The community cloud model supports multiple organizations sharing computing resources. Examples include a university cooperating in certain areas of research, Access to a community cloud environment is typically restricted to the members of the community. So how is security architecture different in the cloud? Cloud services can be delivered in many flavors in any combination of the service delivery models, such as software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. And the deployment models, public, private, hybrid, and community. You as a cloud customer are responsible for knowing how your cloud services work with respect to security. The cloud provider should give the documentation you need for your work with architecture. Cloud security concerns and solutions are dependent on the context. In other words, how your business chooses to use the cloud services. So then the solution architecture you end up with should match these concerns and build security safeguards into the cloud application architecture. The cloud shared responsibility model is maybe the most important model for you to understand as a security architect. Failure to understand what responsibility you have for security as a cloud consumer can lead to loss of sensitive data and outages. This slide shows the division of responsibility between the cloud consumer and the cloud provider for different service models. For the IIS tier, the security burden on the cloud service provider includes virtualization security and infrastructure security. Areas such as data security, application security, middleware security and host security all fall to the IIS customer. That means you. Simply put, users are responsible for the guest operating system and everything inside of it. For platform as a service, the cloud service provider's responsibility are broader including security configuration, management, operation monitoring, and emergency response of infrastructure. The service provider also has responsibility of security of virtual networks, the platform layer security, such as security of operating systems and databases. You, as a platform as a service customer, 
is responsible for data security and application security. In the Software as a Service tier, the cloud service provider is responsibility for security of the application and all underlying components. The Software as a Service customer is responsible for data security and endpoint device protection. As you can see, some of the areas are marked as shared responsibility. This means between you as a customer and the cloud service provider. Depending on the type of service, the administration is split between the customer and the provider. For identity and access management, you usually have full control as a customer over identities and access rights. However, the administration interfaces are delivered to you as a service by the cloud provider. Data security, governance, risk and compliance are always the responsibility of the cloud customer. You should raise your own competency in these areas before you start using cloud services. As you can see from this matrix, there are many areas of responsibility for the cloud customer. Don't underestimate the time and resources you'll need to invest for each cloud deployment, including any necessary training to bring your team up to speed. Take the comprehensive course to learn more about cloud security architecture. In this course, you will get hands-on experience using the NIST CSF framework for building a holistic cloud security architecture. The course offers downloadable templates that you can use in your own work. Go to cloudsarc.org to get a course discount and discover more resources for cloud security architecture.